the 20th of May and the GCSE Maths Paper 1 happened this morning. I haven't heard back from anyone yet, but the memes are in. Jeez, just realised what the top one says. Uh, okay. When I catch the B who wrote the Edexcel higher paper, I'm going to jail. Okay. Somebody here called Cosine. It's kind of an appropriate name. Now, nah, because why did I spend so long working out whether 31 was a prime number or not? Question 13. To prove that the area of A was the area of B plus C because of reasons. Oh, no. Edexcel. It seems like everybody's freaking out about Edexcel. Uh, what did everyone get for the first? Oh, no, no. Shout out to everyone who flopped. Here you go, guys. Okay. So it's like, is it two, three intersecting circles and you had to work out the shaded area? Yeah, okay. I haven't seen the question. <laughs> Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. When I realise I have to cover two years of maths content in one night. <laughs> One of them's about vectors. So Edexcel made a shit paper by the sound of it. 360 degrees. Oh, God. Okay, but can we talk about the last question on Edexcel maths? Those circles be wilding. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, uh, can you read these? Oh, not even. Me walking into maths knowing that Vector is that one orange dude. Angles are fat phobic, as only the small ones are cute, and that sign is what takes you to hell. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoever made that maths AQA foundation paper one deserves all the good things in the world. Okay, so the AQA one was easier, or you can't really tell. Okay, so we got this one. Me walking out of Edexcel Maths knowing I just wrote the area of one circle is 16 pi for the last question. Okay, yeah, here it is. Look. Hmm, how would you work that out? This reminds me of, um, who's the guy who does loads of number theory videos? Michael something, he would love this question. Me trying to figure out where the F we were supposed to use exact trig values. Hmm, okay. Right. Radius. 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 They're all radii. So that one goes from the center of this circle to here. This one goes from the center of this circle to here. Yes, because they're all yes. Okay. So this is a length of four. This is a length of four. This is a length of four. This is 60 degrees. 60 degrees. 60 degrees. because it's an equilateral triangle. Okay. So all the same. Okay, this is all coming together, isn't it? So this angle is 60 degrees. Can't write on there. 60, 60, 60. Right, so that's a 60 degree angle. Okay, so the first thing is, if it didn't have these missing bits, then it would be 60 over 360 times pi r squared. Yeah, because it would be a sector, 60 degrees. Okay, that's pi r squared over 6. 
Now we just need to take away these bits. So looking at this side here, again, we've got a sector that's pi r squared over 6. Aha! Half a b sine c. Half times 4 times 4 times sine 60. Right, that's 8 times sine 60 is root 3 over 2. That's 4 root 3. That's the triangle, isn't it? Half A, B, sine C is the triangle. So, this little bit in here is pi R squared over 6 minus 4 root 3. There's definitely two of those. So that's the, the missing area. So then it's going to be pi r squared over 6, which is this big sector here, minus 2 pi r squared over 6, minus 4 root 3. So minus pi r squared over 6 plus 8 root 3. But then there's two of them. So what's that? That's 8 root 3. 8 root 3 minus pi r squared over 6. Double it, because I think we've worked out this area and we need to add this one. So it would be 16 root 3 minus pi r squared over 3. We've got to finish that off. <laughs> so wait a minute. So the 16 root 3 minus pi r squared over 3 and r equals 4 so that's 16 root 3 minus pi times 16 over 3 which is interesting because you get a 16 on the outside now and you get root 3 minus pi over 3 which looks quite neat <laughs>